Okay, we'll start by unpacking the menu folder. Not much in it at the moment. Put a few icons there. And it's desktop dot menu. That's the menu file. So to fill it up, we'd better go and find some dot desktop files or launchers down in user share applications. That's where they generally hide. Make that mistake twice. There's one down the bottom that says Thuna. Much better option. I'm just picking out the sort of things you use when you're doing a fresh install. Mistake. You'll have to come back and unselect that one. Definitely want that one, and that one, and there's the only file manager. I'm holding the control key down when I make these multiple selections. And take them back to our applications folder. That line there is what points at where the applications are. You can point it any way you want, really. So, right, put a menu up there. Don't want the title. Change the icon, though. He looks quite workmanlike. Then the custom menu and point at desktop. Long, come back. Desktop dot menu, that's the one. And that should give us an empty menu. So the next job is to put some applications in there. So we'll just go down the list one at a time. I always do this to get the name. See it's all spelt lowercase there. Yet in Thuna it's showing an uppercase C and an uppercase T. It just takes the what's in the name dash entry in the desktop file. Quite annoying. But we've got a menu entry and it works. I'll just do a couple more of these.
you've only got to do this once and you can move it from distro to distro that's what I really like about it and it doesn't interfere with the main menu you do it the accepted way and put in the menus in dot config and the launchers in dot local share applications then you quite often get double entries in the standard menu which is annoying yep, another one working See the uppercase G with name equals. Put that in and it won't work. Uppercase G and P in the name field, but it's all lowercase up there. Copy a few more in there. That's all for now. Be back for part two. Bye.